It's Tuesday, April 7th. I'm your host, Jack, and this is Netlink Daily, your number one source for tech news, hosted by a weird Asian dude and a Caucasian hipster. Kiz was right. We're running out of intros. Scientists at Stanford University have created an aluminum ion battery. A prototype of the battery was demonstrated as a power source for a single LED. The battery was bent on purpose and there were no fluctuations to the light being emitted. The aluminum battery does seem a lot safer as it does not catch on fire when drilled through or punctured, unlike lithium ion batteries. Some other benefits include charge times in under a minute, no loss in capacity even after 7,500 cycles, and it's cheap to make. The only downside is power production. The battery can only produce about 2 volts, while a lithium ion battery of the same size can produce about 3.6 volts. What do you guys think? Is it about time for some new advancements in battery technology? Leave a comment down below. In operating system news, Windows 10.1 might be released as early as 2016. You heard right folks, Windows 10 isn't even out yet and there already seems to be a roadmap release date for Windows 10.1. Codenamed Redstone, the next Windows after 10 won't be 11 or even 12, but 10.1. The Redstone updates are rumored to include features that will not make the initial release of Windows 10. It's the day after Monday, so you know what that means. Pew, 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 pew. Lightning round. The complete Star Wars Saga episodes 1 through 6 will finally be available for legal digital download for roughly $90 for the complete set. Or if you refuse to own episodes 1, 2, or 3, each individual movie will be $20 each. The movies will be available globally through retails like Vudu, Xbox, PlayStation, Google Play, iTunes, Amazon, and more. 3D Robotics is teasing a new drone that's to be revealed next week on April 13th. Their teaser video shows a baboon dragging a rugged case around and then there's a shot of the same baboon with a drone remote control. What's 3D Robotics trying to say? Are there drones so easy to fly a baboon could do it? Details for the Razer Forge TV was accidentally posted on the product page on Amazon. The pre-order price was $149.99 with a ship date of May 1st. The details on the page have since been taken down, but I for one am still kind of excited to try out the new Serval Bluetooth controller. Turtle Beach is going to step outside of their headset comfort zone and try their hand at keyboards and mice. Their new lineup includes three keyboards, two mice, and two mouse pads. First, shall thou take out the holy pin, then shall thou count to three. No more, no less. Speaking of the holy hand grenade of Antioch, how about throwing some grenades at some noobs with a new MSI GS70 laptop? For a limited time, while supplies last, buy an MSI GS70 laptop and receive a GS70 backpack, a 17-inch sleeve, a gaming mouse, headset, keyboard skin, a dragon baby doll, and a $100 mail-in rebate. Some conditions may apply, but click here or down in the description for all the details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go listen to some more K-pop. Easter weekend was pretty rough. I uh, didn't get to go on any Easter egg hunts, and I uh, had to turn to K-pop for comfort. K-pop? I don't want to talk about it.